Well, hey there. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Phil. Thanks for joining us today on the program. You know, uh, 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 a famous man uh, or woman <laughs> uh, once said, hey, uh, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And and I always say to that, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to take a, a, a shit in a public restroom. How'd you even get in here? Today's episode, we're going to explore what happens, okay, when you take a, a, a regular old person uh, who might have caused some trouble, committed some crimes, paid, the, paid their dues, uh, but, but has broken out of prison, and uh, look, we're going to ask them that age-old question, what's the best hole to get slammed on in prison uh, when you haven't had any sort of connection or intercourse with a human? Please welcome my guest uh, all the way from jail. He's broken out, and he's here with us today, Shanks. That's quite an in, in uh, that's quite an that's quite an, an entrance. <coughs> well, you're used to no applause. Yo, what up? Shanks is in the building. Shanks is in the building. Now, I've never talked to a cross-eyed uh, co- uh, or a cockeyed. What is the uh, the preferred term uh, for what your eyes are doing right now? It's like they're playing tug of war. Man, my eyes are straight as hell. Dog. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure. Yeah, and so is Clay Aiken adding laughter. Now, I think that there's, I think there's something that that is fascinating about the world of jail. Here you come in looking like a uh, like a like a traffic cone, but probably with more bruises rectally than uh, <laughs> than money can buy. What's your story? Where where do you where, where are you from? Yo, I'm from Houston, H Town, baby. <laughs> yeah, what up? Is that tinfoil on the top of your mouth? Okay, so. See what happened was uh my homeboy snuggled he snuggled in some uh Chipotle aluminum foil from the burrito because we can't have like metal, like real metal in jail. So like I just wrapped my teeth in Chipotle wrapper and you know, pulls off pretty good pretty pretty good grill, man. You selling the movie rights to that story? Yawn. Uh so Shanks, I do wanna know, okay, because jail's been one of my most uh I am fascinated by the world of prison, okay? You come in here you kill someone. You kill. Who did you kill? I mean, <laughs> allegedly, like a lot of people. <laughs> but I can't really tell you that. Like, like I can't say like I admitted like to killing these people. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite? Uh, what are your top five ways to murder Shanks? Uh, uh, suffocation, uh, defecation. No breathing. Don't give a fuck if I catch my my, my mouse breathing. Is that how that song goes? <laughs> I don't know. I don't listen to country, but I, I do think that there's something to be said about about holding someone's face down underwater while they're on fire. And you've done this. I have done that. Man, you man, you did your research on me, dog. Oh, I Googled you. You you did? <laughs> I Googled look, my life if you were to look up in my computer, edit in laughter, my next Google search, it would say, Did you mean glow glow in the dark flashlight? <laughs> Dude, one time what I did, uh, you know, lightning bugs. Y- sure. Y'all have these out here out in LA? You y'all y'all got lightning bugs? Y'all got those? Y'all got lightning bugs fireflies. out here? Fireflies. Fire, okay, fireflies. Okay, same thing. We call them lightning bugs in H-Town. Okay, but anyway, so basically what I did one whoa, time. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel threatened right now. Why you feel threatened, dog? I'm in the presence of a criminal. Okay, talking about insects, and from the movies I've seen with Brendan Fraser, this is usually where I end up with my head in the back of my trunk while you're driving my car with my feet. We'll be right back. Shanks. Okay, now if that were a real knife, I'd be I'd be petrified. Okay, but because I know that you made that before you came into the studio, I did make this before I came into the I studio. I saw your security cam. We'll cut to that footage. We don't have that footage. There, I saw you out there making uh, one of these little diorama knives. Okay, looks like a robot cock. Okay, looks like the. I mean, it looked looks like, like the Terminator rhino. dick, dog. It looks like a Terminator dick. It looks like a rhino's clit. Not that I know what that looks like. Asking for a friend, Yolo. <laughs> now, <laughs> man, this is funny, dog. I got uh, well, kick it with you long term, dog. Yeah, well, when you maybe. Hey, hey, you, I got a question for you. Sure. All right, I'm no, an open book. Okay. No. no. Shut up. Don't judge a book by its cover. But once you see my cover, open the book, read a couple pages, see what you like. You can you you don't have to pay. You can just watch. That's how I prefer it. TMI YOLO. Man, that was beautiful, dog. All right, question for you, homie. I'm an open book. No homo. You ever had sex with a dude? Hey, I'm gonna see your homo and raise you. I'm gonna see your cut. We'll edit this out. 
I'm going to see your no homo and raise you a very homo, sapien. We'll be right back. There's something to be said. Okay, I've said I've said every time I brush my teeth, I, I sing a song in my head because I feel like actions and choices beget the movements and motions that we take. If you one step forward, two steps back, opposites attract. Okay, Paula Abdul said that, but I think she's onto something. Yeah. Now look, have I used a double-sided dildo in my dreams? Sure. Do I know what Captain Crunch and Cinnamon Toast Crunch taste like together? No. But I've read Diane Sawyer's uh, cookbook, and she says every recipe is followed by a good philosophy. Do you have any famous quotes that you live by when you're in jail? Well, one thing. Oh, let me. Okay, let me put a button in that. Let me get back to the the lightning bug thing. I forgot. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, you had some uh, incredibly captivating story about yeah. an insect. Let's make sure we definitely don't skip over that. Okay. <laughs> Add in the sound effect. Add in the. <laughs> hey man, I don't like you clowning me like this, dog. Well, I'm just being honest. Okay, this is a normal conversation. Let me tell you how to have sex in the dark. Okay. Well, that now I'm listening. Go well, okay. on. Okay, you grab a bunch of lightning bugs. Okay, keep going. You 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 crush them over your erect penis, I'm right? I'm to win it. All right, then your dick light up like a freaking lightsaber, dog. Okay, and then you start putting it in. And then you I start not, putting it so in. So I'm Yoda. I'm you like, come my will. I mean, if, if that's what you into, I'm not into that Star Wars foreplay and stuff like oh, that. You're more of a Star Trek. Uh, I'm like 50 Cent, a like get rich, die trying soundtrack, like <laughs> kind of full play. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, player. Now, is there is there something that? What's your favorite animal? Uh, it's probably the jackalope. <laughs> I guess we're just making up animals now, huh? What is that? No, the jackalope is a creature that is. I've is, heard of a jack o' lantern, and I've heard of a a jack o' lantern and a pumpkin fool. That's not a creature. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Wetted in laughter. Now, Shanks, tell me this. And, and, and excuse me if I'm getting personal, but I feel like every story has a backstory. Who said that? Bill Cosby. And he meant it when he said it. And look, I, I do believe... Where did he touch you? Where did, where did who touch me? Where did he touch you? Wait. Shanks, Shanks. What? Shanks. Yeah, I'm looking at you. No, this way. Huh? To the left. To the left. Oh, there you is. And there you is. Where did he touch you? Where did, where did, where did who touch me? Say it out loud to yourself. Where? Say, say where, where did, where? One word at a time so did, you can try to trigger where the did, memory. Where did it go? No, where, where did it do? Where did it? Well, where did it do? Where did it do? Where did it do? Where did it do? I mean, what was that? I mean, the first time it happened. Um, I was at a family picnic. Hold that thought. We'll be right back. Nabisco, count it. This is great so far. And by the way, don't don't forget whatever your bullshit. Oh, he touched me at the fucking park. But hold on to that thought because we're gonna come right back. And, and we're going to make sure that we hear the rest of that because this is, this is good stuff, okay? The audience picks up on emotional connection and also trauma. And I, I, can, I don't know if I like this, man. I don't know if I like this, man. I, I, I'm oh, feeling yeah. weird. I'm getting like misty, dog. I, man, I don't, I don't know if I like it. All right, sh shut up, shut up. We're coming back. All right, we're back here with, with Shanks, and uh, you were telling me a real a sad story that that uh, was getting real boring real quick but it sounds personal so i want to make sure that i'm paying attention what the hell dog that's my life dog where, where is my life a joke to you is my life a joke to you mr phil well that's first of all that's doctor bitch okay you call dr pepper mr pepper i don't know i call him mr pip sometimes bitch oh you're a mr pip guy huh you oh, got yeah. that poor soda in prison what do you drink mouthwash yeah i do i get drunk off mouthwash yeah do you you floss your teeth with your neighbor's pubes? I call it Listerine, <laughs> dog. Laughter. We'll take out laughter on his joke, put it on mine. Wait, that's not fair. Hey, hey, it's put down double laughter on my no, thing that can't. I just said and take away his laughter that you just said. Hey, How about hey, that? Hey, shut the fuck up. Quit this shit, all right? The first show back from the pandemic, you shut your goddamn mouth. We brought you in here, okay? I know you should be out on the streets, 
You're living the wildlife. Ooh, shanks. Sleeping on the streets. Sucking toes for potato salad. I've been there, motherfucker, and I ain't going back. So you shut your goddamn mouth. You zip up your fucking orange sweatshirt, hoodie, pants that were shorts, but you stretched them out in the dryer. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Shanks was just telling a real sentimental story about the first time that he, uh, I think, met a birthday clown. You take it from here. Man, I, I don't know if I can just express myself with, like, what, just acapella. I don't know, man. I, 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 sometimes I like to express myself through music, okay? But sometimes, like, how I can get things off my chest. I don't know if... I don't know if I can just say acapella like this. Can we like get a beat or something? Sure. You know, I want you to hold that thought and we're going to come right back with a beat and a, and a fun little nursery rhyme from Shanks who's going to rap about his feelings because clearly he can't dig deep into his vast deference. We'll Google that. Put the definition below. What What's happening uh, inside? So uh, stick around. We're, you don't want to miss this. A little, we're going to rap. I'll rap with him. Okay. I'll try to go beat for beat, tit for tat, uh, clit for clit for clat. We'll, we'll cut that out. Put it, Just leave the tit for tat. We'll be right back. I mean, I feel like we're getting somewhere, I guess. Is this how this show works? I'm not... Shut the fuck up. Okay. We're... Oh, you two, need to reset? Three. <laughs> you messed up, dog. <laughs> two, three... <coughs> you have COVID? What? Now, Shanks was telling us before the break, he has a tough time divulging personal anecdotes, facts about who he is and where he came from. I want to get to the core of what's going on. The best way I do that, Shanks, is through word association. And if I can't think of enough words, if I only know like 15 words, what's your favorite word, Shanks? Butter. What's your second favorite word? Sasquatch. Now, when you go back to the fourth grade, was there an instrument that you wanted to play that teachers told you you couldn't? Piccolo. Now, if you had to come up with one business to invest in, what would be the name of that business? Fences R Us. If you had to change the word MILF to mean something uh, different in Spanish, uh, what, would, what letter would you take off and what letter would you put on? Okay, I will put uh, a P in there, so PILF. And make it Padre, I'd like to fuck. Uh. Are there two pills that you swear by when you wake up in the morning? Yeah, amoxicillin and acetaminophen. Is there a TV show that you think you could host better than the current host? Uh, yes, the NBA All-Star Challenge. Now, how many times have you practiced calligraphy buck naked while singing share songs into the mirror and pleasuring yourself at the same time? No, you must leave my love after love. Yeah, I do that sometimes in the jail cell with actually after I whittle like a fresh bar of soap, I tuck it between my dick and my butthole and I'm like, share you bad, bitch, you bad. I'm sorry. That's... You all right, dog? You'll have to excuse me. Um, when I was a young boy, uh, my father took me to a share concert, and you just triggered a very intense memory for me. Do you believe in love after love? I can be all a thing that we say. I really don't think it's strong enough. No. Where did he touch you? I mean, in the park? After dark? The situation seemed fine, but he slipped me some wine. Dude was like, hell yeah. And I was like, Okay. He started touching on my, touching on my, touching on my wiener. Touching on my, touching on my, touching on my wiener. Thought I wasn't dirty. Thought it's getting cleaner. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you have to let yourself emotionally go to a place you don't want to go to to get on the same level as someone who's experiencing severe uh, uh, penile trauma. Now, was that a trap? 
But is that share story even real? Or were you just trying to like give me the the like divulge information from me? We'll never know. Okay. Does Fabio does Fabio Oh hell yeah, that's real. No, you no, look like a little bitch faking. right now. No, no, no. you were straight no, up. That was a clean set. You shut the, up. Hey, hey, shut the fuck up. Enough of this bullshit. You can't even pay for the rights for a share song. I only sang six seconds, dog. It's like a fifteen second. Right, wrap it up. So just... Okay, well, all right. Can we? Now, in most in most shows, uh, I like to truly uh, find out why my guest. It's who he is, or she. <laughs> so we're going to do a quick um, rap battle with, with Shanks, who is uh, an accomplished musician in prison. You've got two albums out right now in jail. Uh, one. Uh, Shanks for the memories. Shanks for the memories. And two, uh, you can Shank touch. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Flip on the B-side. You can touch this. You can this. touch this. Yeah, and there's a picture of him photoshopped on NC Hammer's face, and then and he's... He's doing this. It's not a move. It's not a. It's a hologram. I'm fucking so you, a Virginia ham, dog. You turn the CD like that, and you get. He's going like that, and then yeah, he's in. Like, you know those holograms, the two for the where it's like he's. You turn it to the left, and he's in the ham, and you pull it to, to the second, and he's he's pulled out, but he's getting ready to go back in because uh, that ham feels good. So so let's uh so let's drop a beat and Shanks. I want to hear. I want to hear who you are. Okay. Yo, I like men, I like dudes, I like them poli, not nah, rude. Can I take a dude home with me to see my ma? Can I take a dude home with me to see my pa? Is it wrong? Is it right? Is that butthole loose or tight? I don't know, feel my flow, hip and he, hip and hoes. Flipping on that, flipping on that, sipping on lean, sipping on clean. In the jail cell, you know what I mean, I be. Hitting it, 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 up on the butt. Thank you. Hitting it, 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 hitting on that butt hole. Don't forget your coat. I know you came in the front door, but if you could leave from the back, that would be more effective so my wife doesn't see. I know you came in through the front and you still have to pee. That's fine. You can lower your hand. This isn't a classroom, but hey, the, 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 the first dude I killed was at the age of 16. He looked at me twice before he touched my penis. I said, ah, hell no. Watch your back. Then I hit him with that gap, gap, gap. Hit him in the head, hit him in the head, hit hitting him in the it, stomach, hitting hitting hit him it. in the stomach, hit him in the leg, hit him in the leg, drag that body to the dark. Then I got caught by the cops. Helicopters in the air, birds everywhere. That my my, my that that uh uh I uh, got the uh, Ubers uh, here, uh, so you can uh, pick uh, up uh, your uh, things uh, and grab a bagel on the road and meet me down the street because that's where I'll be flying a kite. And hey, if you have the time, maybe there's a chance we could grab some food. I know this guy. He makes a killer bolognese. Sounds like Fuck. Dr. Phil. Don't know have no friends in this world. And guess what? I'll be your boy or be your girl. Yeah, you want my butthole, Dr. Phil. I'll let you get, get it your fill. I appreciate the offer, Chanks, but I'm going to respectfully decline. No thanks. Everything about that song that you said is getting me all <laughs> confused in my head. Well, uh, guess what? You my bitch now. You my bitch now. We'll be right back after the commercial break, dog. Yo, what up? Welcome back to the Dr. Shank Show with my main bitch, Dr. Phil. Put it wherever you want. <laughs> yeah, dog. I straight up turn and we on the run. You been kidding? Man, you been, you been crazy lately, man. You helped me murder like three people, dog. Yo, life on the road is crazy. <laughs> You'll cut a bitch just to get some beef jerky. <laughs> Man, I love the new you. I'm glad that we were able to transform you after me coming on your show. You know what I'm saying? 
The last time I heard someone say they came on my show, I was getting forced into erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> Yo, man, I've been raping Dr. Phil like crazy lately, man. This is wild. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Flashback. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Any closing thoughts, man, before we wrap up this hour? Help. Thanks so much for watching, Dr. Shanks. We'll be back soon. I love you, dog. Be gentle. Too hard. Perfect.